മൈക്രോഫോൺ its concerns and evidence on the trip with canada and what was their response to it and an associated question what is the second part i mean did india share evidence on nichar and the others other you know suspected khalistani uh, you know the second no, question okay can we hold on we'll come back to more <laughs> okay uh, can we wait another one i've got a whole list but i am going to join the investigation let's see i'll come back to you why don't i take you yes good yeah you yeah Hi sir, uh, Rajesh here from uh, the Wall Street Journal. Hmm. Wanted to ask a question. Just a second. Not ready. Beyond uh, issuing robust denials, <laughs> what is India's strategy on countering the allegation, which carries a risk of reputational harm to India's global standing? Okay, fair enough. If it's just on this, otherwise I still see many hands. Uh, maybe one more round. Yeah. Sir, Meghna from DD News. Uh, is ME considering any specific advisory for the Hindu Canadians? Uh, because we have seen an advisory for Indian nationals and students, but anything specific uh, uh, in view of the threats that have emerged? Okay. Maybe I will hold off. I think I just see too many hands around. Okay. Let me start with some of the uh, Rishab. Your query was on um, diplomats, Canadian diplomats here. um yes we have informed the canadian government that there should be parity um in strength and rank equivalence in our diplomatic uh, presence in mutual diplomatic presence um their numbers here are much are very much higher than ours in canada the details of this are being worked out but i assume there will be a reduction uh, from the canadian side um there was a query uh, i think uh, you mentioned let me take in a different order sadhant you had a comment on words used by canadian prime minister foreign minister and then the us ambassador right um yes i do think um, there is a degree of prejudice here of prejudice uh, they have made their allegations they have taken action on them uh to us it seems or it appears that these allegations by the government of canada are primarily politically driven um one sure query was on briefing the our partners etc look on this one um as i said um we have been of course engaged with our partners on various issues um particularly including this one um we have um, been discussing but um we have conveyed our position uh, how we see these developments and 
I think those are part of ongoing uh, conversations, but I'm happy to share a little more if you uh, wish to talk about it. I will, I will. I'll come back to that. I just thought I'll mention to Manish, as have you. I'll come back to Manish because um, let me just make a couple of other points. Um, I think, uh, Sudhi, you had a query about Canada sharing any uh, information. No, let me clarify. No specific information has been shared by Canada on this case, either then or before or after. Um, we have, um, you know, um, as we have said, or I think it's been very, made very clear, we are uh, willing to look at any specific information. We have conveyed this to the Canadian side, made it clear to them that we are willing to look at any specific information that is provided to us. But so far, we have not received any such specific information. Uh, there was a direct, indirect question on that. Let me also point out that from our side, very specific evidence about criminal activities by individuals based uh, on Canadian soil has been shared with the Canadian authorities on a regular basis, but not been acted upon. Um, so that is an uh, answer to both sides of it, I think you asked. Um, there was a query on, I'll, I'll come back. Uh, there was a query regarding um, from, I think, Manish Jha, aapka prashna tha security pe. Dekhye, security ke maamle pe mein, aapne wujha tha humare. Dekhye, aapne usi liye advisory issue ki hai, or detailed advisory hai. Uh, unko kya karna chahiye uh, ek prashna aur tha ki kuch uh, groups ya hindus alag se nahi advisory sare indian nationals ke liye hum is tarah se nahi dekhte uh, indian nationals ke liye students ke liye jo travel kar rahe hain jo wahan reh rahe hain unke sab ke liye advisory hai and hum chahenge ki wo advisory ko dekhe aur palan kare uska um, sahil your query was on whether we are sending or sending security no i look we have always believed that it is the host government's responsibility to provide security. Um, if there is some places we have our own security posture also, but look, I don't want to discuss security uh, measures in public. Uh, that's not an appropriate uh, situation. Um, if I could come back to what uh, Manish, you asked about, um, as I said, we have ongoing conversations with friends and partners. We have made our position quite clear to them on the lines that I've outlined just now. That's why I thought I'll outline our position first, uh, that you know, there has been no specific information, and we're willing to look at that if provided. Um, on the issue of uh, a threat, Vinita, you mentioned uh, for various things. Uh, look, I, I don't know how to react to this. Uh, we obviously condemn uh, any threat. But look, the overall, I think we should look at the larger issue. The larger issue is of terrorism. And um, not just, uh, you know, terrorism, but also the fact that it is being funded and supported, and we know this for some time, from our Western neighbor Pakistan. But the issue of safe havens and places to operate is being provided abroad, including in Canada, and that um, you know we would uh, we would expect that that is the main focus. The question is, do we have the political will to address terrorism, or we want to justify it and and, and condone it? So I think that's what we would like to say. Yeah, no. I, as I said, one question at a time. On, on the issue of uh, measures for our security, as I, I think the same question was asked. I don't want to discuss publicly, but of course we take. Uh, we, it is the, under the Vienna Convention, we expect uh, host governments to provide security and for our premises, for our diplomatic personnel. Um, what exact specific measures, I don't want to discuss publicly. Um, Pranay, aapka uh, prashna tha uh, visa pe, mai jase bhi bataya, ki humne um, visa issues pe, let me actually nahi bataya tha, mani. I thought humne discuss kiya tha. Um, yeah. Um, आपने देखा होगा कि हमारे जो कनाडा में हाई कमिश्नर और कॉन्सुलेट्स हैं उनके उनको किस तरह के सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट्स वो फेस कर रहे हैं उसको आप आप जानते हैं इससे उनका जो सामान्य कामकाज हो, होता है उसमें बाधा पड़ी है उसमें डिसरप्शन आई है इसीलिए हमारी हाई कमिशन और कॉन्सुलेट्स अब टेंपरेरीली वीजा एप्लीकेशन नहीं प्रोवाइड कर पा रही हैं हम इस सिचुएशन को रेगुलर बेसिस पे रिव्यू करते रहेंगे इसकी समीक्षा होती रहेगी पर अभी के लिए ये सिक्योरिटी सिचुएशन जो कैनेडियन कनाडा में और कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट की इनएक्शन से रहा है उसके लिए हम इसको अस्थाई रूप में हम इसको वीजा आवेदन का जो प्रोसेस है उसमें बाधा पड़ रही है और इसीलिए हमने उसको अभी उसको स्टॉप कर रखा है आई नो देर बी क्वेश्चन ऑन दिस इन इंग्लिश सो लेट मी से दैट इन इंग्लिश यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द सिक्योरिटी थ्रेट्स बींग फेस बाई आवर हाई कमीशन एंड कॉन्सुलेट्स इन कैनेडा दिस हैज डिसरप्टेड देयर नॉर्मल फंक्शनिंग Accordingly, our High Commission and consulates are temporarily unable to process visa applications 
we will be reviewing the situation on a regular basis. Um, that's what I wanted to respond to it on Pranay's question on uh, visas. Megha, I, I think you asked uh, up on Pakistan comments. Um, I don't even know how to quite respond to quite respond to that. Pakistan, if there is the last country, I think we're talking about credibility, and I don't think uh, anybody really takes their comments seriously at all. Um, I think that covers it. Sahil, I had talked about security. Uh, Rajesh, uh, hmm? yeah. Yeah, look, uh, if there is any country, if you're talking about reputational uh, issues and reputational damage, if there's one, any country that uh, needs to look at this, I think it is Canada and its growing reputation as a place, uh, as a safe haven for terrorists, for extremists, and for organized crime. And I think that's a country that needs to worry about its uh, international reputation. Um, I think that covers it. Next, can I take the next rounds of it? I saw your hand a long time. Yes, shall come to you. Yeah, please. Uh, we're staying on Canada, right? Yeah, go ahead. Let's hear. <laughs> yeah? This is Karishma Merotra okay. from the Washington Post. Okay. I wanted you to clarify the comment where you said that there should be parity and strength between the different diplomatic missions. Are you saying that the current reduction in the Canadian mission today was a result of an Indian request to downsize? its presence in New Delhi, or was it an active measure taken by Canada to do so? Can you clarify that, uh, the parody statement sure. you made? Sudan. Hi, sir. I'm Sudan from CNN News 18. Sir, a former diplomat has made a comment on a national TV uh, a week back saying that, uh, uh, saying that there was always a trouble for uh, Indian Army officers to get visa, those who have served in specific locations in India like Jammu Kashmir, Northeastern State, to get Canadian visa. Uh, were, is, was Ministry aware about it and have we ever raised this issue uh, to, to the Canadians? And also some my follow-up question, E.M. Jayashankar is even in... answered. How yes, can you have a follow-up question? Sir, E.M. Jayashankar is in uh, New York, sir. We have no, been told. no, 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 sir. Honorable Minister is in Parliament. Oh, yes, uh, sir. Follow up question called off. <laughs> yes, I'll come to every. I assure you, there's time. There's time. Yes, she. Microphone, please. Uh, this is Yeshi Seri from the New Indian Express. When uh, Prem uh, Trudeau was in Delhi for the G20, did he raise this issue of uh, uh, Nijar uh, whilst he was here with the Prime Minister? Did he talk, make the, these allegations uh, that he's raising in Parliament, or, or did this come as a surprise to all of us? Uh, you know, during Who's the us? meet, us meaning India, in, oh, okay. uh, in, you know, because uh, <laughs> he was here and he had a meeting with the PM Modi, and Khalistan issue was raised over there. Uh, did this come up in the conversation at all? Okay. Yeah, behind. It's just many hands. I'll I'll come to all of you guys. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, sir, we also have a e visa process. Are you Parikshit from CNBC. Thank you, Parikshit. So we also have an e visa process. Has that been suspended uh, as well? And does this uh, temporary suspension of visas apply to all categories? The Canadian Embassy. We are getting to know from associations, travel associations, that they're still issuing visas. Who? The Canadian Embassy. Do we, have, do we have any clarity whether Canada has also taken reciprocal action and stopped? Okay. Uh, who, you had, yes ma'am? I'll come to you. I'll come to you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm Amiti from Business Line. Yeah. Uh, the Canadian High Commission has said in a statement today that some of its diplomats have been facing threats on various social media platforms. and. You know, they have also cited the Vienna Convention and said that they would be expecting the host government to uh, provide security. So, will there be a reassessment of the security uh, situation as far as the Canadian High Commission is concerned? Okay. Let me finish that, sir. I'll come to the side then. Yeah. Kallol Bhattacharji from The Hindu. Uh, sir, uh, yesterday the Australian Foreign Minister reminded the issue of rule of law. And they believe that, say, a terrorist should be dealt through that process. So I really want to know what is the current Indian perspective on that? Uh, on you, rule of law? When it comes to dealing with terrorism, like, do you think that rule of law is something that India would follow when dealing with a terrorist I or an alleged Hello, terrorist who is away from Indian shores and <laughs> Indian okay. arms of justice? If you want the answer uh, to that. How, okay. do you, how would you deal with the Australian Foreign Minister's remarks? I've, I wouldn't, but I'll give a response to your query. Uh, Reza, I'll come to you, ma'am. Reza from the Hindustan Times. 
just wanted a quick uh, clarification about the advisory we had issued yesterday. It had a very specific mention about uh, politically condoned hate crimes. Mm. Um, are we saying that uh, the Canadians haven't acted with alacrity on uh, hate crimes of this nature? Okay. Somebody else had a hand up? Yeah. I'll come this side. I think this. Oh, no. Uh, you had a hand up. Sorry. Apologies. You had a hand up. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Okay. You want to do first? Go ahead. I'm Sunita from Times Now, Now Bharat. Is the microphone on? Sunita from Times Now, Now Bharat. Uh, sir, the Canadian, uh, Canada mein Indian students are stuck in Canada, their parents are very worried about them. Okay. I'll come back to the side. Yeah. Rishabh, I just give you anything, but uh, you did a question. Follow up? Okay. Go ahead. Sir, uh, uh, follow up from my last question itself. Is there any particular reason for the reduction of numbers of diplomat? Okay. Yeah. जारी की है लोगों से जानकारी मांगी है अगस्त में हमारी एक टीम भी वहाँ गई थी उस पर कोई अपडेट किस तरह का वहाँ से हमें मिल रहा है So, uh, building on Reza's question, uh, India had issued the advisory which mentioned growing anti-India activities and politically condoned hate crimes. Can you provide any specifics if they were shared or if they are in that you can share with us? Okay. Patai, aapka, yeah, microphone. You are surprised. <coughs> Go ahead. Sir, I am Mukesh Kaushik from Janik Bhaskar. Sir, as you have said that in Canada, there are famines and terrorists. तो पाकिस्तान में जो हम टैकल कर लेते थे सर्जिकल स्ट्राइक वगैरह से इन से फेमेंस को आप कैसे टैकल करेंगे बी जी ट्वेंटी की भागीदारी के बाद ट्रूडो की ये सब डिप्लोमेटिक स्पार सामने आया है एक क्वेश्चन एक क्वेश्चन ले ले ये दो अच्छा क्या था? क्या ये जी ट्वेंटी की हिस्सेदारी में जो उनके साथ हुआ या उनको बताया गया कि वहाँ पर सेपरेटिस्ट एलिमेंट से आप नहीं निपट रहे हैं क्या उसके रिएक्शन में ये सब हो रहा है क्या हो रहा है दोनों देशों के बीच में Amit Bhardwaj from India today. There's a specific question. Uh, the gangster who was uh, killed, uh, Subdul Singh. We are being told that uh, you know he was staying there since 2017. So we wanted a, a clarification whether he was on tourist visa, student visa, because it's been quite long that he was there in Canada. Okay. Uh, Nainima. Uh, Nainima from ABP Live. Uh, just want to understand did the trudeau government give any kind of indication that they are planning to expel an indian <coughs> diplomat a day, a day before uh, and also just one more question what about the students uh, studying in canada will there be any special provision for them uh, i mean on visa issues or i mean they are they're indian citizens no but i mean will what they visas? be able to they'll be able to travel no, what's the specific question travel to where the, the visa issue i don't know what your question will is will there be any special provision for what for an indian visa For Indian nationals, something's wrong. No, the for, even for Canadian businessmen. I, I can. Um, okay. Uh, I'll leave that. Let's. let's okay, leave. at least answer the first question. Thank you. Okay, Neeraj. Uh, second round later, yeah. Neeraj, please. And okay, I'll come to you and I'll. For who those who haven't got first round, I know. सर नीरज हो न्यूज एटीन इंडिया से जब कैनेडियन प्रधानमंत्री भारत आए थे जी ट्वेंटी के दौरान उन्हें भारत की तरफ से अपने देश लौटने के लिए विशेष विमान का ऑफर हुआ था क्या कहकर उनकी तरफ से रिजेक्ट किया गया था पूछ रहे हैं या बता रहे हैं पूछ रहे हो सर कि प्लेन दिया था कि नहीं <laughs> और जिस होटल में वो ठहरे तो वहां प्रेसिडेंट से स्वीट भी उन्हें ऑफर किया गया था भारत से <laughs> अच्छा ठीक है तो उसमें क्या मतलब क्वेश्चन क्या था तो कैनेडियन साइड ने क्या कहकर इनकार किया था अच्छा वो भी बता रहे हैं ओके ठीक है मैडम प्लीज Sir, just want to know, uh, get a sense on uh, the trade relationship. The trade talks have halted, uh, and if you can confirm and for how long, and uh, uh, just a follow up on what Yeshi asked, uh, um, what was India's response uh, on um, uh, when uh, uh, Prime Minister Trudeau uh, raised the issue of uh, 
Nijja, if I, uh, if that's correct. Our PM's response? Yeah, on, on, on the Khalistan yet. Okay, fair enough. Yeah. Sridhar. Sridhar from the Asian Age. Uh, so my question is that are we also looking at uh, reducing the numbers of our diplomats there? I mean, we've... Uh, you made it clear that uh, the Canadian diplomatic strength here will be effectively reduced. Uh, but are we also, if uh, we find that the security situation continues to de deteriorate, uh, are we looking at uh, reducing, like what we did with uh, Pakistan, we reduced it by half, the diplomatic strength. Uh, are we thinking on those lines? And what happens to the, all the students uh, who have been applying uh, to join Canadian universities whose visas are under process because there's every chance Canada may re, uh, uh, retali re reciprocate. It's a very different issue. Okay, I'll come back. You're talking about Canadian visa, right? Yeah. Okay. And the students. Versus well. left and first round. You? Yeah, please go ahead. You from Newsgate. Huh. Uh, sir, you have uh, given an advisory for people living in Canada to. Your log microphone's on, not working. Log yet. on to, log on to mothers. Dot, uh, gov. Dot in. How many people? They have got themselves registered before, as the advisor said, before, before the situation gets. Okay. Into the back, oh, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Right at the back. I'll come to you. Hi, this is Devi Rupa from The Wire. I just want a clarity on the issue of uh, Australia and US had both asked India for, to join the investigation. So I believe you earlier said that <coughs> if Canada showed evidence that you will take a look at it. So you're not saying that you will join the investigation at this time, right? Yeah. Neville from Sky News. I just wanted to know if uh, the government is concerned that this might end up being uh, a problem between the two communities in Canada uh, uh, with threats being made to a certain community out there, especially in Canada. In Canada, between Hindus and Sikhs, where this, okay. this, this said person has threatened uh, a certain community and also with regard to the Indians who, are, who have gone there to study and, and for tourism. Anybody else has any other point that... Huh? No, that's a... Hold on, you already asked one. You asked it, right? Huh? You asked it? No, please. First, first question, yes, I'll take. Okay, I'll let the first round go. Sir, I'm Santosh Thakuru, Nabhara. I want to know what is the trigger point that all of a sudden it's so big and India has not been able to assess the situation. Thank you. What situation has not been able to assess? That with Canada, our relation is so bad with Canada. Trigger point kya tha? Bata nahi. <laughs> okay. You had a question? Yeah. yeah. No, behind you. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, follow up a few, few seconds later. Yes, sir, Ashish from uh, ABP News. Uh, hmm. Sir, there uh, are many reports that uh, American sites have comments hai, Australian or bhi, jo five eyes wo intelligence. Kya hmm. hai. Kya Indian government se, uh, kisi foreign government ne Canada ke alaba is issue ko leke raise kya aur hamara response un governments ko kya tha? Dusra part to answer kar diya tha, but anyway, I'll try to answer other countries. Okay. Ek last koi hand dekha tha mene. Yeah, you didn't ask, right? Yes, ma'am. Don't have an afterthought. You don't have to ask a question. I think if you haven't asked in the first now, I think it's over. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, hi, I'm Sanya from CNN. Given all that's happened in the last 72 hours, how would you describe the current diplomatic ties between India and Canada? You asked a question, right? You asked a question. Yeah, I miss you. Okay, sorry. Uh, sir, my uh, nearest to me, my question is that... Where is it? Sir, Prabha Sakshi is nearest to me. My question is that the five eyes are not getting the same opportunity from them. How do you see it? Do you see it? And the other thing is that, especially in the Indian students... One question is enough. ...the Indian students have also been taken care of the Prime Minister, 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 the Prime Minister. Are we going to help test or help line number? Any other? Yeah, you haven't asked. Go ahead. But he had a follow up. Such a solution uh, that Australian uh, foreign minister, I think she has said that uh, sh the Australian side has raised the question of the Canadian delegation with Indian counterparts mm -hmm. or probably with the Indian side. So has it happened after the statement by the Canadian Prime Minister in, in his parliament or I mean, there has, they have been in touch earlier also? Okay. You hadn't asked a question. No? Go ahead. Sir Thayre Maheshwari spoke like India. Uh, uh, Canadian MP Chandra Arya, he has expressed concerns that Hindus in Canada, they have gotten in touch with him, expressing, you know, concerns about their safety. So has the Indian High Commission or Indian Consulate, have they received any such concerns from Indian citizens in, in the country? Okay. Uh, Follow-up, yeah, quick. 
quick last couple of follow ups i think we'll move on sorry uh, this uh, sir i'm sadhan from cnn news delhi sir this question has been uh, flagged off by the indian community in canada so that there is one other diplomat in the indian high commission in canada who is being targeted by pro khalistani publications newspapers and his name is uh, appearing in almost all newspapers so the indian community is raising concerns regarding his security sir because he, his He's name indian is indian diplomat right indian diplomat along with the one who got expelled they are blaming I him also you. for uh, the okay. activities allegations okay. are being made okay yeah what is the what is the follow up yeah so you said that we have sent a list to canada to take action against those who uh, pro khalistan activists and no response have been given how many times have we uh, sent the list okay and something will we, we need to close it really yeah, yeah. छोटा सा क्लैरिफिकेशन है हरदीप सिंह नेजर को लेकर क्योंकि कनाडा के इमिग्रेशन मिनिस्टर ने क्लेम किया है पहले कहा 2015 में वो कनाडा का सिटीजन बना अब कहा 2007 में व्हाट रिकॉर्ड्स डू वी हैव एंड व्हाट एवर रिकॉर्ड्स वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड टू इंटरपोल फॉर हिज रेड कॉर्नर नोटिस ओके थैंक यू आई थिंक अ लॉर्ड नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चंस लेट मी ट्राई टू टेक देम करिश्मा ऑन योर क्वेरी रिगार्डिंग पैरिटी आई थिंक यू डिडंट गेट व्हाट आई एम सेइंग वी had informed or we have informed the canadian government that there should be parity of strength and rank equivalence in our diplomatic presence our mutual diplomatic presence um we feel that we think that the numbers are much higher and those details are being worked out and we think the hence the number there'll be reduction so yes um i presume this is pursuant to our conversation or request um sidant on the issue of uh, canadian visa right uh you are the first term look i don't want to get into visa requirements of foreign governments but yes we have seen reports and some heard some things and uh, we um, if there are uh, cases where we believe that our people are not being given a fair treatment or there been discrimination we do take these things up uh, but i would not like to recall more individual cases but yes discrimination in how visas are granted by the canadian side is something of concern um, and there been cases in the past but i would not like to go into individual responses um yeshi and i think there somebody else also asked this look um we had issued a press release i think on the 19th it was i have a copy here where we said yes these allegations were raised by prime minister trudeau with prime minister and prime minister rejected them i think that's pretty clear about it so let me reiterate that um i think the same response i think somebody else raised um, that yes those were raised and they were rejected um parikshit e visas yes uh e visas also are on uh, temporary suspension they also you know because they would at some point also involve uh, our functioning of our canadian our high commission or diplomats there all categories uh, you said which categories uh, i think parikshit were sorry i missed you somewhere in the back you are. yeah all categories of visas are um, suspended uh, this is let me explain again the issue is not about uh, travel to india um we are uh, you know the issue is the question is not about travel to india those who have valid visas those who have other kind of documents like ocis are free to travel to india but the issue is of incitement to violence the inaction by the canadian authorities and a creation of an environment that disrupts the functioning of our high commission and consulates that's what's making us stop uh, temporarily this issuance of visas or providing visa services and as i said we are uh, we will be reviewing the situation on a regular basis um amiti you raised the issue of the canadian uh, diplomats facing threats here that's uh, we take our obligations of vienna vienna conventions very seriously um and if there are specific threats and things i'm sure they are in touch with our security agencies and we will certainly um providing all security and all support to foreign diplomats in india we would accordingly also expect that the canadian authorities uh, show similar sensitivity to uh, posters threatening assassination and incitement to violence against our diplomats attacks on our premises or uh, such kind of threats and take their obligations under the vienna conventions little more seriously um kalol uh, phd question on how we look at rule of law uh, we certainly abide by rule of law i think if there is a doubt on that there we have in a different conversation um we would uh, and this leads me to the question some of you asked we have been sharing details of uh, you know fugitives from justice who have run away who are seeking safe havens in canada and elsewhere to come back to india and face um, justice and you know justice whether it's economic fugitives or as terrorists i think that's the way uh, you know rule of law works i i am I, i don't even know what else to tell you how to handle easier would be if the host governments were they seeking safe havens take action against such uh, terrorists um reza um 
yes, the advisory was comprehensive. Um, there was a term called politically uh, condoned uh, activities, hate crimes. Um, you said alacrity. They didn't respond with alacrity. I would go further and say they did not take it at all. It seems there is a feeling that these are are part of freedom of expression or whatever you call it, and these such hate crimes are being condoned in the political environment and the political system. And certainly that is something of concern, and we have flagged it. Sunita, your question was about Indian students. Look, Indian students who are there, we have said that advisory is an issue. Our high commission, our consulates are going on there. काम आ, काम हो रही है उनमें कोई दिक्कत हो उनसे कांटेक्ट करें पर हमने एडवाइजरी में कहा है कि एहतियात बरतें देखें क्या हो रहा है ऐसे स्पेसिफिक कोई हमारे पास और एडिशनल इनपुट अभी नहीं है ये प्रश्न किसी और ने भी पूछा था कि हमारे स्टूडेंट्स और स्टूडेंट्स जो है उनको वीजा हमारे वीजा पॉलिसी से कोई उनको फर्क नहीं पड़ना चाहिए वो इंडियन सिटीजन है और कैनेडा क्या करेगी ये कैनेडियन अथॉरिटी से आपको पूछना पड़ेगा मैं उसके बारे में कुछ कह नहीं Rishabh, your question was a follow-up to why this particular step is being taken on parity of strength and rank equivalence. Frankly, yes, the reason is that we have seen Canadian diplomatic interference in our internal affairs. This is a factor that is being taken into account for seeking parity in strength and rank equivalence. Somebody asked, I think, Krishn, you asked about specifics of some action. Look, these are these are not things that are to be released publicly, so I'm not in a position to share the same. Um, Vijay Lakshmi ji, you said that San, uh, no, yeah, you said that San Francisco consulate. Mein, no update has not been seen. You have seen that our security agencies have released a list. Nikali hai. Unka wo cooperation is going on with US. Ke saath, aur hum hai ki jo inhone, jo isme pichhe the, unko, unke and we want that those who have been behind this will be brought to justice. I think cooperation is going on. I think cooperation is going on with U.S. authorities, but this is not in our diary. If there is any update, we will tell you about it. Mukesh Kaushik, you asked me a very big question. I don't want to do any comparison with anyone else. Let me clarify. There are safe havens in Canada. We want to make sure that the Canadian government will not give safe havens. And those who are against terrorism and terrorism charges, will take action on them. और वहाँ इधर उनके वो वहाँ एक्शन ले या हमें यहाँ जस्टिस फेस करने के लिए यहाँ भेजे मुझे पूछा गया था आई थिंक समबडी आस्ट हाउ मेनी सच केसेस वर देर माय अंडरस्टैंडिंग इज ओवर ट्वेंटी इंडिविजुअल्स आई डोंट हैव एक्जैक्ट नंबर दैट्स वाट सिक्योरिटी एजेंसीज वी हैव सॉट um, either एक्सट्रडिशन रिक्वेस्ट और अदर काइंड ऑफ असिस्टेंस रिलेटेड टू दैट सो एटलीस्ट मोर देन ट्वेंटी मे बी ट्वेंटी फाइव इंडिविजुअल्स वी हैव रिक्वेस्ट ओवर एंड नॉट जस्ट रिसेंटली फॉर मेनी ईयर्स वी बिन रिक्वेस्टिंग एंड द रिस्पॉन्स हैज नॉट बीन helpful at all. Um, Avinash, uh, your question was third countries, Canadian citizens applying? Um, yes, also will be applicable. Uh, Canadian citizens in third countries will not, will also be uh, subject to the same temporary visa uh, suspensions because at some point this comes through our high commissioner consulates need to be involved in that process. So that's not going to happen. Um, Amit, aapka, I think your question was Sugdul. Uh, I think to be fair, this is not a question that's really in our security. It's more of a security thing. Um, all I can say is, um, I, we have seen reports in this. Uh, frankly, um, you know, it, it seems that if you have uh, so much organized crime, this violence is has been there. Uh, there's a lot of violence when organized crime has such a large presence. That's all I would like to say on that. Uh, Santosh, your question was trigger. I don't know what trigger you are saying. किस परस्पेक्टिव देख रहे हैं हमारे परस्पेक्टिव बहुत सिंपल है हम कह रहे हैं कि वहाँ पे जो एक्सट्रीमिस्ट हैं जो टेररिस्ट हैं जो ऑर्गेनाइज्ड क्राइम पे इन्वॉल्व हैं उनको हम चाहते हैं कि उस पे एक्शन लिया जाए कैनेडियन गवर्नमेंट नहीं ले रही है और इनका जो एलिगेशन है उस पर मैंने जैसे कहा कि हमारे पास कोई ऐसा कोई स्पेसिफिक इन्फॉर्मेशन नहीं शेयर किया है तो उसके बाद उन्होंने हमने फिर एक्शन जो लेना पड़ा इट सब इससे रिलेटेड है कि टेररिज्म पर एक्शन नहीं हो रहा है um, other countries, Ashish, your question was, other countries, Abhishek, your question was, your thing was, Australian side had said, look, I think some of these countries have made public that they took up the issue with us, and I think I also said that we are in conversations with many of our partners. I don't want to say which are the countries, because let them mention it. I don't want to get into, you know, which countries have been saying what. But we, as I said, we have ongoing conversations with our friends and partners. I, I, I have highlighted our position very clearly, and this is what we have shared with them. Uh, it's the same thing I'm telling you that we've been telling them. Um, 
नीरज जी आपका प्रश्न फाइव आईज के साथ था पता नहीं आप क्या पूछना चाहते थे बट वही हमने उनसे भी यही कहा है कि देखिए हमारा जो पोजीशन है आ, कि इसमें टेररिज्म का मुद्दा है इसमें सिक्योरिटी का मुद्दा है जो वहां पे जो एक्शंस ले रहे हैं हमारे डिप्लोमेट्स के अगेंस्ट या किसी और के अगेंस्ट उस किस तरह से रिस्पॉन्ड करें सानिया योर क्वेश्चन वॉज डिस्क्राइब दिस अगेन ब्रॉडली एम फिल क्वेश्चन मे बी नॉट पी एच I, I think you'd be make a good assessment. I don't think we are here to assess a relationship. I think that's beyond the purview of a weekly presser. But clearly, we would expect uh, better steps by the Canadian authorities on our very significant concerns about terrorism, about security of our diplomats, of Indian community, and overall anti-India activities that are being um, operated or given a safe haven in Canada. Um, it. कुछ प्रश्न थे हिंदू और आई थिंक सिद्धांत आई थिंक नो स्पुतनिक वाज़ अ क्वेश्चन आल्सो द टारगेटिंग ऑफ डिप्लोमेट्स आल्सो आई थिंक नैनी माई योर क्वेश्चन वाज़ देयर लुक आई आई थिंक द इश्यू इज लार्जर एज आई मेंशन दिस इज नॉट अबाउट इंडिविजुअल ग्रुप्स और दिस ग्रुप आई डोंट थिंक दैट इज हाउ वी आर लुकिंग एट इट एट ऑल आई थिंक नेवल योर क्वेश्चन वॉज ऑल्सो दैट आई थिंक वी शुड लुक एट इट ऑन लार्जर इश्यू ऑफ देर आर एलिमेंट्स लिंक टू ऑर्गेनाइज क्राइम लिंक टू टेररिस्टिस्ट और एक्सट्रीमिस्ट who are operating freely they are being politically condoned they seem to have a free run and they are, and we would expect that the canadian government uh, take action against that as regards the indian origin or indian community or indian diaspora look i think they've been speaking out very clearly our we have talked about uh, um, you know the advisory for indian nationals and uh, uh, we would hope that they feel come they feel safe they feel that they can uh, you know they operate there Ah, uh, sorry. The expulsion part. I'll come to that. On the issue of the expulsion, yes, obviously, when our diplomat is uh, asked to leave, they communicate to us. One exactly, I'll have to check. Uh, but as I said, um, we were of course made aware uh, that he had been asked to leave. Um, but I don't have the exact timing with me. Um, and uh, so then there was something on somebody asked about targeting of uh, another. Look again, I'm very hesitant to get into individual cases. Uh, this brings me to the larger issue of our violence being incited, not just against one diplomat. but you seen high commissioner or consul generals are on posters their faces i think all of that worries us it's not about just one uh, individual or otherwise i think you covered anybody anybody yeah, mister huh? uh, uh, oh sorry um look as i said our um, we are looking at parity um your question was are we looking at reduction uh, of our personnel look that would uh, we're looking at parity in rank and uh, diplomatic strength um we think the canadian numbers will probably come down but the discussions are going on i have no information to share at this point of any change in our diplomatic posture uh, of course if the security situation changes i would not like to you know speculate on that i think i will stop there i think i have spoken on the students i will take no further uh, sorry have i missed your question neeraj ah um <laughs> yeah um yes um regarding um, the issue aapne jo pucha देखिए अब इंडिविजुअल फॉर प्रोटोकॉल रीजंस ये जो इश्यूज हम मैं बताना नहीं चाहता हूँ कैनेडियन प्रधानमंत्री जी का प्लेन में कुछ दिक्कतें थी वो जा नहीं पाए थोड़ी देर के लिए हम हमारी तरफ से हमने जो भी सपोर्ट हम दे सकते हैं हमने ऑफर किया पर वो फाइनली उनका प्लेन ठीक होगा और वो चले गए और बाकी इशूज पर मैं टिप्पणी नहीं कर पाऊंगा और हाउ मेनी पीपल रजिस्टर्ड आई डोंट हैव दैट नंबर राइट नाउ बिकॉज दिस अ लार्ज नंबर ऑफ इंडियन स्टूडेंट्स एंड दिस इज अ कॉमेंट आई वुड लाइक टू मेक ओवरऑल we would encourage uh, students and indian nationals abroad in all countries to register but in canada currently because of the heightened security situation we would certainly expect all of them to register um they must be doing so i don't have an immediate update i'll get back to you at some point okay is there any non canada question because well, i think you've shut the door on that one yeah uh, somebody raised a hand first who is there okay no you go ahead abhishek some all of you guys have asked a question abhishek go ahead non canada not canada yes uh, so my question is uh, regarding uh, republic day uh, invitation uh, for the chief guest so uh, has india invited us president for the republic day uh, parade uh, celebration as chief guest and also uh, are uh, is india planning quad summital talks around that time uh, what's talks quad summital talks around okay. that time month okay okay what else anything else yeah so in addition to that there are some uh, megna day from bbc news uh, there are some reports that uh, the leaders of quad countries have also been invited for the republic day Isn't that what so yeah question was? any addition to that okay any other hands if not i'll close this yeah so the yes your microphone no canada no i think we have closed canada unless something absolutely that i missed yeah okay 
Sir, uh, the Indian military is holding a conclave of the chiefs of the Indo Pacific yes, nations. Yes, yes. The, can we get a confirmation as to whether the Canadian milit uh, chief is going to come or not? Okay. Because he was supposed to come. Is there a. <laughs> okay. Anybody else? Not Canada. Okay, go ahead. Uh, this is Yeshi from the New England Express. I wanted to know if there's any update on that uh, Indian child in German foster care. Uh, what is the latest on that front? Parents, I believe, had gone to Germany, but they couldn't get a glimpse of the child. Okay. Okay, I see no further questions. I'll close with this. Um, on the issue of uh, the invitations, look, um, for the 26th Janu January, um, as, you, as you're all very well aware, uh, and I, I don't do crystal ball gazing. Um, these engagements are announced at the appropriate time. We will certainly share with you information once we are in a position to do so. I'm sorry to disappoint you. Um, on the Canadian chief for this event, uh, my request would be to reach out to the Canadian authorities and see if they're coming. I haven't heard anything particular one way or the other. Um, Yeshi, on the issue of uh, the child in uh, Germany, yes, I think I have a slight update uh, since you asked. Um, you know, following our consistent efforts, uh, German authorities uh, did grant consular access to the child to, on 31st of August. Uh, the interaction with the child included elements of cultural immersion uh, with a view to enable the child to remain connected with Indian traditions and culture. Resource material relating to Indian festivals, customs and practices were handed over by our embassy uh, with uh, the expectation that the child's caregiver would incorporate the same in her routine to enable her to remain in touch with her faith and culture. Uh, let me add that we remain in uh, constant uh, engagement with German authorities on this matter uh, to safeguard the child's uh, cultural rights, her national identity, and to ensure her return to India. Thank you very much. It's been a very long presser.